Hello, my amigos. Return and Migo here. Sega. <laughs> but yeah. Here we are. Should it be? Return of the Ninja Master. Shadows. He is stronger than steel. He and he, and he moves faster than the whirlwind. Sometimes he hides in the mud. Other times he transforms his shape like an ever-changing cloud. Although his fighting spirit burns like fire, his mind is as calm as still water. Violation of the commandments. Uh, should Shino be foul before completing the mission, he will disappear before the dawn and bat vanish forever. Keep this knowledge in your heart and mind from the secret manual of Oboro Ninjutsu. Yeah! This is the next let's play, just my little break from Crush Bundekut. And this game is an awesome game. I used to play this game so much and I just love this game to pieces. I used to play it to this day, as you can probably see right now. But it shouldn't be free, Return of the Ninja Master. Now, yeah, it's kind of odd that I'm starting with the third game first, but the third game, in my opinion, is the best in the series, so yeah. First level, round one, Zeed's Re Resurrection. Now, um... Uh, basically, the basic controls for this game are you have the A button, which um, makes you use your um, power, which is basically um, four different types of jutsus you can get. You can change them by pressing the start button and pressing left and right, and you can switch jutsus. Now, the first um, jutsu you have is the jutsu of Ikaz Ikazuchi. Um, I might be pronouncing these wrong, but. Yeah, <laughs> I'll put um, all the jutsu in, in the description just so you know how they're spelled. But, um, yeah, the the jutsu of Ikazuchi is um is 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 <laughs> it basically involves loads of lightning and you can use it as a temporary shield, which is very helpful and it's one and basically as you can obviously tell it's one of the more defensive type of tricks. Now, there's also another one called um, Jutsu of Kari, which is um, a um, fire type Jutsu, where um, you summer fire dragons and fire just goes all over the screen and swirls around and just destroys everything on screen. So it's kind of more of like the attacking type of Jutsu. Then, you also have the Jutsu of Mijin, which is... Um, these next two I get kind of confused with, so just bear with me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, this one is um, the one where you sacrifice yourself, and basically, um, the main character, the main character's name is Joe Musashi, and um, he basically kills himself, and everyone around him dies, plus um, all his health comes back when um, all his guts just, like, reform. Now, um, he does lose a life, however, if you died normally, then you'd start back, like, at the beginning of the level, whereas if you use the Jutsu, then you just go back to the point you're at. Then you also got, um, the last Jutsu, the fourth one, called the Jutsu of, f um, Fishin, which is basically, um, it boosts his vertical leap. Now, um, the ones I find the most useful are the, um, the electric shield and the, um, the, the fire. Um, attack. I find them the most useful, but um, the other two can be useful at times, especially the um, the uh, Jutsu of Mijin, or however it's said. <laughs> now, um, throughout the levels, you'll find crates, and within the crates, you can never find bombs, which um, are basically like tricks, and they can d deal damage. You also have, oh yeah, I love this bit here, it's like a little, um, to me, it feels like a little throwback to um, the Revenge of Shinobi, which is the game before this. And yeah, it was like right near the beginning of the level, and I just like that. Um, anywho, yeah, you also have um, little um, shurikens that you can obtain within the crates, and health, and... Uh, sorry, right here I'm just getting used to the wall jumping. But um, yeah, I should probably say that, um, say that you press the B button to attack and the C button to jump, and obviously start button is to pause and switch your juices. So, yeah. Um, what else you can get in the crates is like extra lifes and um, a jutsu power up. As you can see in the top, it has a picture of electricity and it says equals one. That just basically means we can use one jutsu at this moment. And obviously, um, you, you have to wait till the next level or once you gain enough power through um, getting an item off the, through um, a crate to use another jutsu. So yeah. Now, um, 
You can also do all these like um, new type of moves. Um, the first move is um, obviously throwing the um, shurikens at people, which is basically just simply done by um, pressing the attack button. You can do um, a jump slash, which is um, double tack the direction you want to run. If you hit the attack button while running, you perform a leaping slash, and that th uh, that one is pretty cool. Um, I believe. Yeah, we're fighting a boss here. I show off um, the first jutsu. This one is a very useful jutsu because, as I said, it's a shield, and you know I'm using it on the boss. So yeah. Oh yeah, this is a boss. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. They also have a dragon kick, which is um, you jump in the air while not doing the spinning jump, which is um, double jump, and um, you press down and attack, and um, this will cause your um, character to, to kick the um, opponent underneath you, or just to the right of you. You can also do wall jumping, which is pretty simple, just jump wall to wall. And then, <coughs> yeah, sorry by the way, I have a cold, so excuse me. Um, uh, you, you can also do my favourite move, which is Shuriken Rain, which is press the double jump and then um, press the attack button, and loads of um, shurikens will go flying out um, around you, and it'll just hit every enemy on the floor, or well, well, most of them anyway. And it's really useful, I like it. But yeah, the um, description for this level. Joe Musashi des descends from his training grounds into the mountains after he learns that the syndicate, syndicate Neo Zed has emerged with a vengeance from the criminal underworld. He battles waves of assassins and huge mutated samurai armed with spears and swords through the forests and caves of Japan. So yeah, we just defeated the first boss in the game. It's pretty easy, just let him attack you and then you throw a shuriken at him and then he'll charge at you and he jump over him and then just rinse and repeat. It's a pretty simple boss fight. Now obviously this is a very old game so it's got like a score system, which is pretty cool I actually. I quite like it when games have score systems, even though I'm someone who doesn't really care about high scores and all that when I'm playing a video game. I will sometimes care, but um, more or less won't. Oh yeah, we're riding a horse, this level's fun. You have quite a few levels where you can ride certain um, things. But, um, uh, oh, what was I talking about now? Um, oh yeah, high scores, and um, basically... Um, I, I, fi I find it more like um, video gamey, if, if that makes sense, when a game, when um, like you have high scores. Like, it's just a natural thing for me. I, I feel that a video game is more of a video game when it has high scores. And obviously, like with games such as Sonic the Hedgehog, well, they, even though it doesn't have a high, high score, they kind of do at the same time. Like, it doesn't have it like in the old games where it was at the top left um, of the screen, that type of score, they have more of like, the ranking system, which is one of the reasons why I still like really like Sonic the Hedgehog. Obviously I have my main reasons for liking him, which are really obvious, so I'm not going to go into talking about Sonic the Hedgehog while we're playing Shinobi 3. So yeah, <laughs> it's pretty helpful, the exclamation mark actually warns you whenever you need to jump over an obstacle, which is really cool. Obviously right here we're constantly moving forward, so it's quite difficult um, to like uh, jump over and attack enemies at the same time. It, it's not too hard, but it can be, for, especially in your first try. But, um, yeah, I, I, I really like um, riding this um, horse. I find it um, really for fun and a great change of gameplay. Now this um, character that we're seeing right here is a ninja in orange with a um, large supply of spears. And um, he's called the Shadow Dancer. All you got to do to defeat him is basically stay to the far left and he'll jump up, throw a couple of spears at you, then you've got to jump over the spears. Um, not like that, you actually want to jump over them and not fail. <laughs> and obviously when he um, tries to do a dragon kick on you, you've got to try and dodge the dragon kick, usually by going to the far left, and then quickly throw a shuriken at him before he reaches the other side of the screen. And basically just rinse and repeat. It's um, a pretty simple boss fight, but it can be quite challenging for um, beginners. So, that's pretty good. Um, Personally, I find this game to be really difficult, especially the um, later part of the game. This is, um, a lot of Mega Drive games are difficult, and I love it how whenever you kill someone, they explode. It's so awesome. <laughs> it's like they had dynamite inside their stomach or something. It's awesome. But yeah, we're heading to, um, the next part of the level, more of like, um, a tech, tech type of the level. And this is where you find out that, um, there's actually people in this world who have guns and whatnot. Because... <laughs> 
usually when I think of um, like um, ninjas and whatnot, I um, more or less think of like swords and you know weapons that don't involve um, guns and whatnot. So I find it kind of cool that they have that little mix here. So yeah, um, I, I like it when they do that. I just find it quite fun. <laughs> I love ninjas. Ninjas are awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I'm no, I'm not gonna read the um, bio for this level yet because the bios do contain a bit of spoilers. So I kind of tend to try and um, say them before, um, like once you've seen everything about the level that you need to know. So yeah. Now this next section we're heading in is an elevator section, and this section is pretty awesome. It's, um, it can feel kind of slow paced at times, but at the same time it's really just quite fun. Just going through here and try and destroy every, like, um, like, um, human you can see. <laughs> yeah, you got to be quite, um, fast with your reactions as well, because, see there, I missed her. So, <laughs> yeah. I find this um, really fun, this game. It's one of my favourite games from my childhood. And I used to play it a lot, along with um, Revenge of Shinobi. But, um, yeah, Revenge of Shinobi was actually one of the games I actually got with my Mega Drive, which is really cool. I, I didn't play it as much as, say, Sonic, but, you know, it's still awesome. Oh, there we go, there's uh, my favourite move in the game. I love that move. <laughs> as I said earlier, it's called the Shuriken, right? <laughs> but, yeah, it's pretty awesome. No, um, I may as well explain, explain the um, plot to this game. Um, oh yeah, this bit here. If you if a, if your um, elevator goes up into a wall, like um, I think I may show it off here. Well, um, it'll show off soon. But um, yeah, like right here. If I don't make it through the left and go upwards um, in a quick amount of time, then um, the I'll get crushed by the um, elevator on the wall or the ceiling. <laughs> So yeah, you gotta always be on your toes, like a true ninja warrior. So yeah, that's um, something I like about this. Like they try and get a slow gimmick, but they make it like fast and tense. If you know what I mean. So I, I quite enjoy that. And the story: Neo Zed is threatening the world once more. The evil crime syndicate could thought to have been vanquished two years earlier has returned, headed by a man known only as the Shadow Master. Joe Musashi has felt their presence and descends from the lonely mountaintops of Japan to face his arch nemesis once more. He is the shinobi, stronger than steel and faster than a whirlwind, the last keeper of the Oboro ninjutsu techniques. He, only he can stop Neo Zed. Now here's um, the boss of this level. This boss is pretty simple, just dodge his attacks. Um, his attacks um, it's pretty simple to figure out how to avoid his attacks, but at the same time, they're quite hard to avoid, especially that one right there. Um, because, like, you know, there's loads of explosions, and it's quite um, hard to avoid it. Like, here, right here. They're quite hard to avoid. So, yeah, I, even I have a lot of trouble with them. So, yeah. Now, um, uh, this level, um, round two, secret entry. Um, Misashi races on a horseback through the meadows as a storm gathers, and Neo Seed's assassins descend from kites to attempt their kills, including a fiercely agile ninja in orange with a large supply of spears, the Shadow Dancer. The conspiracy is revealed to be much d larger and dangerous than expected as Mur Musashi reaches a huge high technical facility, neutralizing Neo Zed's machine gun armed soldiers and encountering a levitating robot armed with bullets, bombs, lasers, and reality warping trickery. The first brain powered jet pilot supercomputer's successor. Now, I believe this is the end of the part. Yes, it is. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Should It Be Free, we will be heading to round three. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.